Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian, and in today's video, we are going to look at a very, very cool new feature in the just released 1.7 version of my listing directory theme. So one of the features that I think has a ton of utility and real world value is the ability to create specific landing pages for specific categories, regions, tags, um, you know, or searchable elements on your directory. So I remember just as a quick side note, years and years ago, when Listify first came out, uh, I had emailed Adam Pickering and had asked him to do this from Jump. And it was something they continuously offered to do or said was coming. And unfortunately, it really never arrived. I don't know if Listify uh, currently does that now, but because um, I haven't used it in quite some time, but it is really a phenomenal way of getting hyper segmented and specific, creating landing pages that are really appealing both to the public audience that you are appealing to, as well as the professional peers or niche neighbors that you're featuring on your community. So this version, today's version of my listing, which is 1.7, has this built in. In previous versions, there were ways of doing this in a uh, pretty slick and sexy way. I think I've done a couple of videos on those in the past, but now it is actually baked in or built in to the framework, which I'm going to show you right now. So here is the listings tab. Here is the categories tab. So I'm going to create a new category called demo for YouTube category. Here is where you would assign the icons, either an icon font, or you can upload your own image. Here's where you would set the background image here for the background, uh, you know, that, that people are going to see on the site in the, in the uh, category box or category element. Here is where you set the custom landing page, right? So now there's nothing selected. This allows you to either assign or search. So I've already created a couple examples that's called home Two, which I just did. We're going to add new category. And now I have this new category demo for YouTube category. Let's search. Let's take this listing here. Let's edit it. Let's assign demo for YouTube category here, update it. Let's view the listing. Here are the default categories that ship with the theme. I added this one earlier today. And here's the one I just added and assigned to this test listing. If I click on this in the past, what would have happened it would have brought up a searchable uh, explore page or it would have just brought up the listings specific for that category. But what if you wanted to fine grain uh, or kind of aesthetically improve the way these listings are uh, categorized and displayed on your site? So let's see what happens if I click on that. And now, as you can see, I have a dedicated landing page just for that category, right? So if we go into edit, and if I edit this, I could change this hero image here. I could change what this says. This would say Let's update that. All 
All right, now let's go back and look at that same listing again. Actually, let's do it this way. We're going to search. We're going to pull up that test listing. We're going to click on this. And now you have the landing page text has been changed. Of course, you would change the background image. And then most notably, you could also change this here to reflect, let's say, uh, subcategories of the primary category that you just set, right? Very easy to do. And if you have a directory that has lots of either regions or if you have a directory that has lots of categories and tags that require some extra, let's say, parcellation or, um, you know, you want this to really be segmented in a very cool and creative visual way, this is the perfect approach for amping up the aesthetics on your site, I think, in a way that's going to really appeal to both the public and your professional peers and or members as well.